the Red Sox and Yankees continued their first playoff series in 14 years on Monday night. As the two rivals split the opening pair of games in Boston, the series moved to New York. In the end, it was a decisive victory for the Red Sox, who emerged with 16-1 win and 2-1 lead in the American League Division Series. Here's a recap of how Game 3 went, 9th inning, Red Sox 16, Yankees 1 bottom of the 9th, despite a 2-out walk Boston pitcher Eduardo Rodriguez retired to the side without issue to close out a Game 3 win for the Red Sox. Top of the 9th, Yankee catcher Austin Rumini was called in to pitch the 9th inning for New York. He promptly got Xander Bogarts and Rafael Devers to ground out. Ian Kinsler drew a walk before Brock Holt completed hitting for the cycle with a two-run home run. Christian Vasquez flew out to right field to retire the side. 1B, checkmark 2B, checkmark 3B, checkmark HR, checkmark welcome to Brocktober. Pick.twitter.com slash VDNAPE, MLB, at MLB, October 9, 2018 Yankees are pitching backup catcher Austin Rumini. Pete Abraham, at Pete Abe, October 9, 2018 8th inning, Red Sox 14, Yankees 1 bottom of the 8, Heath Imbri entered to pitch for the Red Sox, getting Brett Gardner and Andrew McCutcheon to pop out. An Aaron Judge strikeout made it a quick inning for the Red Sox reliever. Top of the eight, Stephen Tarpley was called in from New York's bullpen to pitch. He gave up an infield single to Rafael Devers, and Ian Kinsler added another base hit to move Devers into scoring position. Brock Holt's double made it 12-1 with two runners still in scoring position and no outs in the inning. Tarpley got Christian Vasquez to ground out before Kinsler scored on a wild pitch. Mookie Betts single up the middle made it 14-1. Tarpley then got Blake Swihart to strike out and J.D. Martinez to ground into infielder's choice. They scored 23 in a division series series game against Cleveland in 1999 that was started by, wait for it, Bartolo Colon, Pete Abraham, at Pete Abe, October 9, 2018, 7th. Inning, Red Sox 11, Yankees 1 bottom of the 7th, Nathan Evaldi continued in the game for the Red Sox, striking out Gary Sanchez looking with a 100 miles per hour fastball. He followed by striking out Miguel Andujar on a curveball, and getting Glaber Torres to ground out when the inning. Kinsler's in at 2B, Holt at 1B. You wonder if Pierce got hurt. Alex Speer, at Alex Speer, October 9, 2018 Top of the 7th, Christian Vasquez flight out to center field, followed by a double from Jackie Bradley Jr. After Mookie Betts grounded out, J.D. Martinez hit an RBI single up the middle. Xander Bogarts then fouled out to retire the side. Ivaldi has only allowed five singles over six innings. Just four starters all year through six innings without allowing an extra base hit against the Yankees in Yankee Stadium, most recently Chris Sale on 6 30ths. Alex Speer, at Alex Speer, October 9, 2018 Sixth inning, Red Sox 10, Yankees 1 bottom of the six. Aaron Judge opened the inning with a single to right field, but Red Sox pitcher Nathan Ivaldi answered by striking out Luke Voigt. Giancarlo Stanton's scorched line drive was right at Andrew Benintendi, who made the catch for the inning's second out. Didi Gregorius also flew out to Benintendi, giving Ivaldi another quiet inning. Top of the six, right-hander Jonathan Holder entered the game for the Yankees, getting Rafael Devers to ground out to first base. Steve Pierce struck out, followed by Brock Holt grounding out. It was the first three-up, three-down inning for the Yankees in Game 3. This game has dropped a gear into, let's get this over with mode. Pete Abraham, at Pete Abe, October 9, 2018, fifth inning, Red Sox 10, Yankees 1, bottom of the fifth, Glaber Torres lined out to Steve Pierce for the first out of the inning, and Brett Gardner grounded out to second. Nathan Evaldi followed up by getting Andrew McCutcheon to line out to Xander Bogarts, ending the inning. Top of the fifth, Chad Green continued on the mound for New York, getting Jackie Bradley Jr. and Mookie Betts out on two pitches. However, Green then walked the next two batters he faced, Andrew Benintendi and J.D. 
Martinez, before Xander Bogarts popped out when the threat. Fourth inning, Red Sox 10, Yankees 1 bottom of the fourth, Luke Voigt led off with a single before Giancarlo Stanton hit a hard single to center field, allowing Voigt to move to third. Didi Gregorius induced another challenge at first base the fourth of the game, after he was initially called. His fielder's choice allowed Voigt to score from third, getting New York on the board. Gary Sanchez followed by striking out, and Miguel Andujar's ground out ended the threat. Most runs scored by the Red Sox in a postseason inning, 7 tonight at NYY, 4th in, 7 2007 World Series Game 1 vs. Call, 5th in, 7 2007, Alds Game 3 at Law, 8th in, 7 2004, Alds Game 1 vs. Anna, 4th in, Red Sox Notes, at Sox Notes, October 9, 2018 Top of the 4th, Brock Holt hit the first pitch of the inning by Severino back into center field for a single. Christian Vasquez added another single on what appeared to be a hit and run with Holt, though the Red Sox second baseman was forced to hold it second. Jackie Bradley Jr. Drew walk on four pitches, spelling the end for Luis Severino's night as the Yankees starter. Lance Lynn arrived from the bullpen to take over on the mound for New York, but he promptly walked in a run on four pitches, sending Mookie Betts to first. Andrew Benintendi ripped a bases clearing double down the right field line, making it 7-0 Red Sox, still with nobody out in the inning. Bay says hello. Chad Green entered for the Yankees, getting Rafael Devers to pop up. Steve Pierce followed with an RBI single, and Brock Holt batting for the second time in the inning, belted a two-run triple into right field. Christian Vasquez grounded out to finally end the threat. Third inning, Red Sox 3, Yankees 0 bottom of the third, Glaber Torres was initially ruled to be out on a throw from Xander Bogarts, but the Yankees won a challenge, putting Torres back on first. Brock Holt made a fantastic play at second base on Brecca Gardner's hard-hit ground ball, but Bogarts was unable to complete the double play. Andrew McCutcheon flew out to right before Aaron Judge grounded out to Bogarts to end the inning. Top of the third, Mookie Betts and Andrew Benintendi both reached on hits into left field. Aggressive base running on Benintendi's hit led each to advance to second and third with no outs. This paid immediate dividends, as J.D. Martinez's sacrifice fly scored Betts, increasing Boston's lead. Betts is excellent at reading those sort of plays. First to third on the bleeder to left and Benintendi takes advantage of the throw to third to take second. Lots of contact off Severino, Pete Abraham, at Pete Abe, October 9, 2018 Xander Bogart singled, moving Benintendi to third. Rafael Devers grounded into a fielder's choice, but the Yankees failed to get the double play, meaning Benintendi scored to make it 3-0 Red Sox. Steve Pierce ended the Boston threat, flying out to deep center field. Second inning, Red Sox 1, Yankees 0 bottom of the second, Giancarlo Stanton hit a hard ground ball just past the glove of Xander Bogarts for a single before Didi Gregorius dropped down a bunt, and Nathan Ivaldi slipped fielding the ball, making it a close play at first base. At first, Gregorius was called safe, but Red Sox manager Alex Cora challenged, and the Yankee shortstop was ruled out. Ivaldi then settled in, getting Gary Sanchez and Miguel Andujar to ground out, ending the inning. Ivaldi just joined Cindergaard as the only starting pitchers to throw a 101 miles per hour fastball in a postseason game in the four years of StatCast tracking. Alex Speer, at Alex Speer, October 9, 2018 Top of the second, Rafael Devers led off with a long single into right field, though Aaron Judge's clean field and quick throw kept him at first base. Steve Pierce struck out, but Devers stole second in the process. Brock Holt grounded out, advancing Devers to third. Christian Vasquez reached on an infield single right back at Severino, who couldn't field it cleanly, scoring Devers on the play to give the Red Sox an early lead. Severino rallied to strike at Jackie Bradley Jr., retiring the side. Vasquez's single came on a pretty good two-strike pitch by Severino, a slider below the zone. 
a strikeout pitch, but Vasquez got enough barrel on it, 93 miles per hour exit velo, to make it hard for Severino to pick. Alex Speer, at Alex Speer, October 9, 2018 Devers with the same kind of terrific at bat to open the second that he had down the stretch in September. His 116 miles per hour liner, off a 97 miles per hour fastball up and, and into the corner, a Stantonian exit velo, was hit so hard that he had to stop at first. Alex Speer, at Alex Speer, October 9, 2018 Even the seats inside the mode air almost filled at Yankee Stadium. You know it's a big game when that happens. Pete Abraham, at Pete Abe, October 8, 2018 First inning, Red Sox 0, Yankees 0 Bottom of the first, Andrew McCutcheon grounded out to lead off before Red Sox pitcher Nathan Ivaldi battled Aaron Judge in a 9-pitch at bat. Ivaldi won the struggle, getting a hard hit out to Mookie Betts in right field. Luke Voigt then struck out on 3 pitches to retire the side. Top of the first, on the first pitch of the game, Mookie Betts hit a shot to deep center field that took Yankee Brett Gardner to the warning track before he made the catch. Andrew Benintendi followed by popping out on another fastball from Yankees starter Luis Severino. After J.D. Martinez drew a walk, Xander Bogarts also flew out to Gardner, ending the threat. Betts out traveled 405 feet, the fifth longest out he's recorded in the four years of StatCast that a Alex Speer, at Alex Speer, October 8, 2018 pre-game booze and cheers for the Red Sox in New York, David Price got a very warm greeting at Yankee Stadium picked at twitter.com slash y45 ockel 4zk, Alex Speer, at Alex Speer, October 8, 2018 let him boo. New York, while walking past at Red Sox clubhouse following NYY's Game 2 win. Picked at twitter.com slash 9 Connor Ryan, at Connorian underscore 93, October 8, 2018 The lineups for Game 3, series lead up for grabs. Picked at twitter.com slash Odin, New York Yankees, at Yankees, October 8, 2018 Pitching Matchup, Nathan Evaldi, 6-7, 3.81 era versus Luis Severino, 19-8, 3.39 era Since being acquired from the race on July 25, Evaldi has gone 3-3 with 3.33 era. And the right-hander's contribution to the Red Sox-Yankees rivalry has given Boston reason to be optimistic about his postseason debut. In three starts against the Yankees since being acquired by the Twitter.com slash ka 2 expid Boston Red Sox at Red Sox, October 8, 2018 The Yankees turned to right-hander Luis Severino, who helped New York defeat Oakland in the American League wildcard game. His four scoreless innings were complemented by seven strikeouts. While Severino has been uneven against the Red Sox in 2018, 2-2, 3.56 era, he has been dominant at Yankee Stadium, 10-2, 2.74 era. What Alex Cora had to say before the game, ALDS Game 3 pre-game press conference HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash 940 Boston Red Sox at Red Sox, October 8, 2018.